to consider myself to be one of those. And maybe that's the reason why I like talking to myself. You know, someone being as intelligent as I am, nice conversation. <laughs> well, when I was younger, my friends used to laugh at me because I could walk on the street and have like proper loud conversation with myself. And recently, it got me thinking about those voices that we hear in our head, that they can be actually very disturbing, that they can put us in doubt and really slow down the decision-taking process. That's why today I'd like to share with you a few thoughts about voices, and that's why I'd like to present you three situations. Situation number one. Imagine, you just met a really cool guy, you really liked him, and you would like to, you are dying to call him. But, the voice number one will tell you. My <laughs> girl. I'm so fat. Just look at me, like 10 kilograms overweight. And, and look at my hair, you know, like you, you just can't do anything with that. And, and I'm not even that smart and he's not gonna like me and I don't want to call him because I don't want to get disappointed. I won't do it. I, I really don't want to do it. Whereas at the same time, there's another voice in our head telling us, Monica, what's wrong with you? Call him straight away. What do you have to lose? You know, you are a nice girl, you have blue eyes and blonde hair, and the guys love blonde. And to tell me the secret, you have really cool boots, you know it. <laughs> and you are smart and intelligent, and you travel so much, and you are so easy to talk to. Come on, the guy would be stupid if he didn't ask you out. Situation number two. You really want to change something about your job or start something new. And here's what happens in your head. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Why don't you like your job? What, the coffee is not good there? Have you actually considered that maybe in your next workplace there won't be coffee at all? There won't be bonuses, there won't be happy hours, there won't be nice friends, no multi-sport, nothing. Did you consider that? And what? You're telling me that your job is boring and you have no passion for it. Huh, passion? Workplace is not place to be passionate about. Work is to get money, that's it. End of story. Whereas, at the same time, Monica, you could become anyone, and you know it. You know, you are so great in organizing things, and you would be such a great event planner. Or for example, you could join some non-government organization, and try to save the planet and do something meaningful. You are smart and intelligent and you speak languages and you travel. You can achieve anything you want to. Situation number three. You just came for your first or second Toastmaster meeting. You are sitting there. You like it, but <laughs> you really think you can speak English? Have you actually listened to yourself and you think it's gonna be enough for this meeting? My God, public speaking? <laughs> Have you ever spoken to any audience larger than a few drunk friends at the party? Did you? Well, I thought so. <laughs> so, you don't even have anything interesting to say, you know? You will just stand up there, get to the stage, people will laugh at you, you will have nothing interesting to say. Trust me, you don't want to get there. Whereas, at the same time, there's another voice in your head telling you, Monica, it's all a matter of practice. As they say, the Rome wasn't built in one day. And you can become as good as those people, or actually you can become better than they are. You have so many interesting stories to tell and so many thoughts in your head and this is the perfect place for you to be to share them with others. Everyone hear voices. They can be voices from the inside, like voices in our head, but sometimes there are also voices from the outside, like our friends, co-workers, parents, or even the neighbor living next door. They will be telling us, don't do it, don't try. You are not going to make it. But at the same time, there is this small little voice coming out of our heart, telling us, just do it. 
And we as intelligent, as we agreed at the beginning, human beings, we are free to choose which voice we will actually listen to. If you want to call someone, call them. If you want to change your job, just send that application. And if you want to join Toastmaster meeting, just fill this application and join the club. And remember, to fail is to not try, not the other way around. Thank you.